Hi friends, it's Sunday today, the weather is great and it means we go birding. And today I'd like to show you one interesting place which is located less than an hour from Bangkok and it's called Patuntani Rice Research Center. Here is the perfect spot for bird watching. So cute, so many. <laughs> Oh, oh so cute. As you can see, I'm really in the middle of nature. These are rice field paddies. Here is the place where they learn and research about rice culture. And here, at the same time, there are so many birds. So let's have a look. There is not so much known about this place among the public. Except that it's one of the most favorite hotspots for birders located around certain means on Wales north of Bangkok. As such, birds love this place and here you can find more than 190 species of birds. Impressive number for just a field in the middle of nowhere. In this video, I will show you 15 bird species that I observed here. Let's get started! This government facility is the first and main of seven such sites in the region. It is dedicated to the conservation and multiplication of breeder and foundation rice seeds with more than 24,000 varieties conserved in its vast collection. Here you can see two species of munias eating rice. They are quite common and from afar can be mistaken with a sparrow. You can find them in Bangkok too. To not miss the time, I recommend you come in here early in the morning, otherwise you risk to get sunstroke as you will stay for hours in an open space without any shadow. One of my favorite birds here, Asian Golden Weaver. I just love the color of this male. Here is a female. As often, in nature males are more attractive than females. They live in grassy areas and are easily scared, so you have to be really secretive to find them. Asian golden weavers make their nests like these woven baskets with a narrow entrance hole. Making a nest is not an easy task to do when you don't have arms. This male is building a new home for his new family. Soon this female will lay eggs in it. And this is one of the masterpieces of nest building. This is a nest of Baya weaver. Their nests are often built hanging over water. A male bird is known to make up to 500 trips to complete a nest. 
Baya weavers use their strong beaks to strip and collect the strands and to weave and knot them while building their nests. Here, Oriental Pratinko. Other common names for this bird include grasshopper bird or swallow plover. An unusual feature of these birds is that while they are classified as waders, they more commonly hunt their prey on the wing. Red-colored doves can be found in all grassy areas and fields. Females are paler than males. This male is trying to impress a mate by dancing. But no luck this time. Common moorhen is also called a swamp chicken since it is about the size of a chicken and has a chicken-like body shape. Common moorhens tend to live in wetlands, areas such as ponds, lakes and canals and marshes with plenty of surrounding vegetation. On average, a common moorhen tends to live as long as three years. Common moorhens tend to live in flocks of 15 to 30 hens with a dominant older adult male. Let me tell you how I found this place. I was looking for a place where I can spot birds not so far from Bangkok and uh, thanks to my friend on Facebook whose name is Alexander Coxmith and he's environmental science leader and an avid nature and wildlife photographer. He has many amazing photos on his Facebook page and he is also published in many magazines. So if you guys are interested in bird watching the same as I do, uh, please be sure to visit the page of my friend I will provide the link down below in the description box and uh, I am sure he will be happy to show you his beautiful photos and videos too. If you love birds and wildlife, I recommend you watching my birding playlist by clicking this link above. Support my channel by subscribing and hitting the notification bell to allow all notifications about my upcoming videos. For you it's nothing, but for me it's a great motivation to film more interesting and informative content. Now you will hear bird calls that they make to distract invaders like myself from their nests. showed this bird in my other birding videos. Make sure to check them! Did you 
know little cormorants are great swimmers? They swim underwater to capture their prey, mainly fish. They propel themselves underwater using their webbed feet. These beautiful Javan pond heron often frequent wetlands, ponds, and marshes. In the world, there are more than 10,000 birds. It can also be seen feeding by walking in slow steps. An interesting feature of this species is that it hunts its prey in the open. The diet includes frogs and fish, apart from insects. They can live up to seven years. In large colonies, the birds can be found roosting with other species, such as little egrets and cattle egrets. And here is a cattle egret. It is unmistakable by its bright orange plumage on the head and back. They are often seen together with other storks, egret and heron species. A water bird is an intermediate egret. It often nests in colonies with other herons, usually on platforms of sticks and trees and shrubs. They prefer to hunt in fresh water in marshes or cultivated fields, but are also found in mangroves and mud flats. It eats fish and insects. I'm so excited and happy. For example, right now we just spotted a wild duck. It's the one I wanted to spot. Let's have a look. I'm filming her in this camera. The lesser whistling duck can be found inhabiting wetlands and marsh fields in Asia. Their current global population is between 2 to 20 million. They can be seen flocking in small groups during the daytime, waddling along the shallow marshes and picking at mud in order to find worms and other creatures. During the breeding season, they nest in pairs, mostly reusing the old nests of kites and herons in tree hollows. live up to nine years. In the end, one of my favorite birds, Asian open bill storks. Even though they are extremely common in Thailand and you can often see them soaring in the sky, they are still so beautiful. It has a weirdly shaped bill with a hollow gap formed by its curved lower mandible. This gap is formed with H 
due to feeding upon snails as their favorite food. Like all storks, it flies with its neck outstretched in the air. The Asian openbill storks live in colonies with several nests in a single tree. Their habitat ranges from agricultural landscapes, seasonal marshes, and wetlands. I finally got this bird. It's a new species for me, so I wanted to have a quality photo and finally I did it. The legs of these stilts almost account for 60% of their hate. They inhabit marshes that can be salt water and fresh water. These birds can be spotted in small groups. They wait for their prey near water. They are carnivorous and food includes aquatic insects or invertebrates. They can live up to 12 years. So you can have like two birds together. One bird is real, another one is just a reflection. In order to keep predators away, these stilts engage in distracting displays and often pretend to be injured or sometimes fly frantically to distract the predator from unhatched eggs and young ones. Watches. I spent a great day watching birds here in Patum Thani Rice Research Center. It's such a great place for bird watching. Thanks, Alexander Coxme, for this recommendation. I really enjoyed it. I've spotted so many new species and I'm so super happy. I've spotted several species of weavers, the new species of Munia, right round Munia several species of ducks and many others, a very big plus to my birding collection. At the same time, I think it's great that in Thailand they do have these kind of places where there are open spaces for birds and they're trying to protect nature and uh, birds and animals and they can feel free here, so it's uh, super nice. As an amateur bird watcher, I want to encourage you to start this amazing hobby. Start bird watching today. And yes, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. And if so, I encourage you to watch my bird watching playlist where you can find many beautiful bird species. Here is the link, and I see you next weekend in my new video. Bye! Thank you.